Hi, this is Nick with Wolfman Repairs, and today I have a Super Nintendo that has no power. Now, I got the Super Nintendo as a parts lot, and it came without any screws, so everything's just kind of laying in here. Uh, but it did come with this one, one screw back here holding the motherboard in. So, I don't know why someone needed all the screws from a Super Nintendo, but I guess, uh, Someone needed them. Anyway, so as I was poking around with this, I noticed that uh, if you go ahead and, and plug it in, I have the cord plugged into the back here. You can't see it, but there it is. Uh, we have no power. So the red light doesn't come on. So, First thing we're going to do is check this little fuse here and uh, see if that guy's blown. Let's get all this out of the way. Take out one screw out. So this is the main fuse for the Super Nintendo right here. So we're gonna see if that guy has continuity through it. We have our meter. And it looks like we don't have any continuity through it. Okay, so this fuse is probably blown. Let's go ahead and repair it or replace that fuse and uh, see what we got after that. Okay, let me prop this up so you can see better. Just borrow my meter here. some flux let's start off by putting some new solder in there Grab the tweezers. Okay, I got one leg out. I got the got the fuse out. Okay, so these fuses are uh, 1.5 amp, 125 volt fuses. That's what they look like. Let's cut one to size. I'd like it to be about the same size as the old one. Okay, and let's uh, go ahead and solder this guy in place. A little more flux. Okay, 
Let's get this straight on the tweezers. There we go. Okay, well that's in there. Got a little more solder. All right, let's check for uh, continuity now. Okay, we got continuity. Let's uh, let's plug it in and see what happens. Power cable. AV cable. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's turn it on. Hmm. We still got no power. Okay, let's uh, test out the switch. We're just going to go from the red post on the switch to the black post on the switch and flip it on. Okay, so the switch works. Maybe this LED is broken. Let's uh, throw a game in it and see if anything comes up on the screen. This is uh, off-road. Super off-road. nothing okay okay the switch is in here kind of crooked like let's take a look at that don't want to break this ribbon cable so we'll take this out Okay, let's test these two points here for where the switch goes. Okay, flip the switch. Okay, so we do have continuity going through the switch. We still have continuity through this fuse. Well, we do not. So this fuse blew immediately. So there's something else going on with this, with this here uh, Super Nintendo. That's interesting. Okay, let's keep digging. Like, why not? Let's see. 
Do we have continuity of these two points? Because we shouldn't. If the fuse blew, that means that there's, there's some sort of short somewhere. In my mind. Hmm. Interesting. That's kind of disgusting in there, but that wouldn't cause an issue. It would cause the game to not play. Oh, well, I guess let me do some research on this. Find out what causes the fuse to blow on a Super Nintendo. And uh, I'll get back to you. I mean, the only thing I can think of is the short. Switch is not shorted. Hmm. Okay, let me do a little research and I'll be back. Okay, so I've been poking around a little bit and you know, in my mind, if this fuse keeps on blowing, that means that something is shorted um, that shouldn't be. So I've been testing these capacitors. I have this nifty little in circuit capacitor tester. Um, so I've been testing a couple of these capacitors here just to see if they're good or not. And this one shows up as it being bad. It's a 220 uh, microfarad capacitor. And this one over here also shows that it's bad. So uh, let's pull out this capacitor here first and see if that makes any difference. Um, and then we can pull out this guy too. That's It's out down under here. We'll pull out both of these capacitors, replace them with uh, new ones, and uh, see if that makes any difference in what we got going on here. Okay, let's do the easy one first since it's right there. Actually, you know what? Let's do the hard one first. Why well, do the easy one first? Okay, so that pulls the cover off. Now this looks like a 220 microfarad, 6.3 volts. I don't have 6.3 volts microfarad, uh, 220 microfarad capacitors. I have these uh, 10 volt ones, which should be fine. Replacing them with that. Okay, so a little flux. Cool. solder solder and pump Okay, this is not cooperating. Let's 
Let's add a more solder. It's time to break out the big guns. guns I mean the solder sucker let's give it a shot Okay, there we go. This is my first time really using this thing, so. that out now with the uh, soldering iron real quick. There we go. Okay. Let's clean up that hole a bit. Or not. All right, where's the other one? The other one's right here. Just add some flux. Mm. Now that one popped right out. <laughs> this thing's awesome. All right. Shut that guy off. And let's get the uh, new capacitors installed. Now what's nice is there's markings on the board as to where positive negative are so that's good it's just this hole is still clogged up with solder just add a little more solder to it can't really get to it from this side Let's try to get this solder out. You know what? Guess we're gonna have to go back to the solder sucker. Get more solder in that hole. Okay, now it holds nice. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now the hole's nice and clean. Let's start putting our capacitors in. So the negative side always has a stripe. Looks. Okay, let's clean that up. All right, snip off these ends. Place this fuse again. Let's just make sure we got continuity here. Okay, we do. Let's make sure the switch is off. Switch is on. Okay, switch is off. Let's plug in the front panel again. Let me get the power cord, see if that makes any difference. Okay, I got the power cord. Let's plug her in and let's see what happens. And we have a red light. Awesome. So these capacitors, one of the two were, were definitely bad. 
And let me just look at these capacitors here. I mean, they don't appear to be leaking or anything. Oh, this one's a little bulged on the bottom side. Let's turn it on again. We have the red light. We didn't even get the red light before. Let's go ahead and see if the game will work. Uh, before we do that, we gotta put this shield back on so our voltage regulator doesn't heat up. I think that's good enough. Our voltage regulator is connected to this big heat shield. Um, just brush this off a little bit because this is full of dust and debris. Let's plug in the AV cable. Okay, got the connector back on. Power cable back in. Just make sure the red light comes back on. Okay, all right, let's try out a game. All right. Awesome. So it seems to work. Excellent. Cool. So we saved this Nintendo from the parts bin. All right. That's awesome. Yeah, so I guess one of these uh, two capacitors here that I replaced were shorted. Well, that's awesome that we saved this one. I'm going to go ahead and find some screws for the case and put it all back together, and uh, it's good to go. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.